What's good, Charles Cambridge? Video show you like that comment number one. Just want to see next last year, brand new, and let's hop right into the video. So look, man, how to become the guy that she cannot resist. Now, the thing about becoming the guy that she cannot resist is that it is a lot easier than you may think. Okay, you might think that you have to become some kind of guy that is super duper suave, and you just got all the pickup lines, and you always know exactly what to say, and you're the most outgoing guy. The truth of the matter is that this is just simply not true. In order to become a guy that a woman cannot resist, all you have to do is tap into your true nature, which is to be a man, right? If you are a man watching this, all you have to do to become the guy she cannot resist is be more masculine. That's it, because the nature of our biology, how we were made, how God created us, is that women are attracted to men. Therefore, a more feminine woman is going to be a more attractive woman to a man. A more masculine man is probably going to be more attractive to a woman, right? This is just how our biology goes. This is how straight relationships go, okay? So when you understand that, you understand that the more masculine that you appear, the more attractive that you will be. So what defines masculinity, right? Now, there are specific things that are out of your control, like your jawline. Your jawline, for the most part, is genetic, okay? I've heard that I have a pretty decent jawline. Personally, I've never cared about my jawline like that, but, you know, some people have weaker jawlines or whatever the case may be. Some people do not have sharp face, uh, 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 facial structure, you know what I'm saying? Some people, their body type is not the most masculine. But always understand that no matter how your genetics play out, there's always other things that you can do. The way that you're dressed and your overall style, right? Your haircut, your... Um, uh, demeanor, uh, your physique that you, you know, build through going to the gym consistently, right? All these things can be changed to appear more masculine. Like, for example, let's think about a grown man, a 30, 25, anywhere from like 25 to 30 years old, and you are a grown man. And let's say you are 140 pounds, you are extremely skinny. Now, nothing against skinny people, but let's just be honest. If a woman sees a 140 pound man, sees a dude that's really skinny, bro, chances are these days you probably lighter than her. She's not going to want you because on a biological scale, you probably cannot protect her. You're 140 pounds soaking wet, man. You don't really have a lot of muscle on you. You're not strong, okay? And that's just how it is. She is not going to be attracted to you as much because that's not necessarily a masculine feature. As a man, you uh, one of the most masculine things you could do is put on weight and be stronger, right? So you put on grown, what's called grown man weight. Once you get up there to 180, 190, you feel me? And I know that's more difficult for some people. Like it's difficult for me, I'm only 170. I've always been naturally lean my whole life. It's tough for me. I have to be in a constant bulk in order to get there. But me as an athlete, I cannot get to those levels because it's gonna hinder my performance. But if we're just talking about the average man, if you are below, you know what I mean? Or not even, you shouldn't even set a number for yourself. But if you look in the mirror and you see skin and bones, you need to put some weight on you. You know what I mean? That is how you can appear more masculine. That's just the truth. So with that being said, another thing that's not masculine that you can change by going to the gym is if you are overweight. Obviously, if you're overweight and you lose weight, your facial structure is probably going to be more defined now because you're losing weight in all areas of your body, including your face, you feel me? Your shoulders, all, it could be, they'll be uh, more showy. Your abs, they don't start showing. Things like this, there are things that you could control, right? Now, the thing is, uh, another big thing that you can control is your style. Your style is very key. You can dress masculine, um, you know what I mean? And what I mean by that is, you don't have to wear specific things. I'm not gonna be up here and tell y'all, oh, you have to wear a suit or anything like that because I understand, bro. You don't have to wear a suit everywhere you walk. Um, you can if you want to, but if we're just being 100% real, you don't have to be, you know, on your on your super formal stuff at all times. Okay, it is okay to dress casually, but if we compare dressing casually now to back then, we will see a drastic difference. The reason that we will see a drastic difference is because nowadays fashion has gotten extremely lucrative to the point where men are rocking, we'll just say feminine clothes, more feminine clothes than they ever were before. People, men are becoming more feminine in their overall style. They're becoming less masculine, which is less attractive to a woman. Let's just be real, right? Some of the most attractive men in the world, if you take a look at them, look what, Chris Hemsworth, uh, Michael B. Jordan, you see those dudes, they look 
masculine. You know what I mean? The beard, the jawline, just the overall look, their build. That is masculine. Look at the way that they dress. You know what I mean? It's nothing too crazy. It's nothing, it's nothing wild, but it's just overall masculine. And that's what you have to become if you want to be the man that she cannot resist. Because as much as people will try to tell you, oh, you don't have to be mass. Oh, feminine men are, are just as just as valid. Look, if you want to be a more feminine guy, then, hey, man, do you. More power to you, whatever. But just know that women are not as attracted to more feminine guys than they are to masculine guys. No matter what they tell you. I don't care if she's capping to you talking about, oh, I like the, the skinny dude that that rocks uh heels like no she doesn't like that guy she likes the guy that has muscles and a guy that dresses masculine appears masculine his demeanor is masculine you know what i mean he's always in control he's not anxious all the time he's not looking around he's not fidgeting and all this other stuff she wants the guy that is masculine no matter what she tells you no matter what she tells you i promise you deep down that is what she truly wants because that is biologically how we are built that is how the lord meant for us to be okay now now that we understand the easy part let's get to what's actually pushed right because yes being masculine and all that we understand that women like that that's the easy part but let's take a look at what reality is in this world today masculinity is no longer pushed we know that it's painted as toxic and they not only are they painting masculinity as toxic but they are now trying to replace masculinity with femininity they are wanting men to become less like men and more like women that is 100 percent facts now before we go any further i already know what you commented or are about to comment but cam you have earrings uh how could you tell me how to be masculine when you have earrings well i have two ways to respond to that number one Men have been wearing earrings for so long that I have never seen it as a specifically feminine thing. You know what I mean? I've seen dudes, you know, look at the, the, the top most masculine dude that you know. The most masculine dude that you know. He might even have earrings or whatever the case may be. But I digress. If you don't think earrings are hyper masculine, fine. I'm cool with that. I'll take that L. I'll take that loss. But I'm just saying. At least I'm not out here rocking dresses. At least the way that I dress is masculine. My demeanor is masculine. The way that I talk is masculine. My haircut is masculine, right? My nails are not painted. I'm not rocking skirts. I'm not wearing long dangly hoop earrings. I don't wear makeup or eyeliner or nothing like that. If you were to see me on the street, you would assume that I am a masculine guy. So sure, you can say whatever you want about the earrings and the nose piercing. You can say whatever you want about that. But overall, I am an extremely masculine man. We know this. But let's get into the more lucrative things that they actually push. The things that they push, take a look at who the fashion icons of the world today are. Take a look at them. Playboy Cardi is one of the most iconic fashion people today. People love to dress like Playboy Cardi. And what does he wear? He wear dresses, skirts, makeup, paints his nails. I don't care if your nails are painted black. Let's just be honest. It's a feminine thing to do. It is a feminine thing to do. I don't care if your skirt is black or orange. I don't care what color. I don't care what context it is. It is a feminine thing to do. It is a feminine thing to push. And if you want to do that, that's cool. I have no problem with it. But let's just be real here. As a man, I think you're supposed to be masculine. So when you do those super hyper feminine things, don't expect to be attracting women. I'm just being real with you. Don't expect to attract women if your nails is painted, if you're wearing super dangly earrings. I'm just being honest with you here, bro. Again, I have no problem if you wanna do that. But let's take a look. The, the, like the real problem that I have is that society is pushing this and trying to tell you that if you are not succumbing to these things, if you do not do these things, that you are less masculine. So in other words, they're trying to flip the roles. They're saying that if you don't do hyper feminine things, you're no longer secure in your masculinity. That is the problem that I have. That is what they're trying to say. That is what they're trying to push. And what's worse is that women of today are going along with this. They're saying, yeah, we like guys that are in touch with their feminine side, but the truth of the matter is that they're lying to you. They know it's a lie. Everyone knows that it's a lie, but they continue to push it for whatever reasons, probably for money. I mean, I haven't looked too deep into it because it doesn't really affect me like that. But let's just be real, man. Look around. They're pushing the, uh, the feminine man 
all over. Look at how men are portrayed in movies and TV shows nowadays. Even the most masculine men. Look at the last Thor movie, the way that they portrayed uh, uh, Thor. They made him look stupid. They made him look dumb. One of the most masculine men ever, and they made him look dumb because he was masculine. So now they're equating masculine to dumb and toxic and all this other stuff. And they're uh, portraying guys that are in touch with their feminine side as woke. I don't know, they're, they're, they're putting them on this pedestal. That is the issue that I have. That is the issue that I have. Sure, let people do what they wanna do. I don't care, but let's stop trying to flip the roles. Let us stop trying to flip the roles. In fact, in the Bible, in the book of Deuteronomy, it says that men should not pretend to be women and women should not pretend to be men. It says that God is disgusted with men and women who try to portray themselves as the other gender or try to pretend to be the other gender. Take that as you will. It's a verse from the Bible. It's in Deuteronomy. I forget what chapter, what verse. But what I'm trying to say is that when you fall victim to these more feminine things that they try to push on you and say, oh, no, it's okay. It shows that you're secure. Understand that you are falling victim to this evil world. You are falling victim to what they want you to succumb to. See, we should have knew something was up when Young Thug started pushing wearing skinny jeans that were skinnier than your girlfriend's jeans, that were skinnier than your mama's jeans. We should have knew something was up then. But we didn't see it coming. We just took it as, oh, it's just fashion. Oh, it's just... And it's only going to continue to get more and more lucrative. In fact, I mean, y'all already seen Playboy Cardi. I mean, literally the fashion icon of the world today is not only someone who dresses in more feminine clothing, but is also somebody who literally has demonic tattoos all over his body. And this is the guy that we're looking up to. This is the guy that we're idolizing. I mean, it's gotten so bad to the point. Look up sexiest man in the world right now. And it is a BTS artist. If you don't know what BTS is, it is a Korean boy band. And you have to understand that in Korea, those boy bands, they very much push that uh, feminine uh, feminine man energy, right? So look it up. Uh, uh, I forget the guy's name. Sexiest man in the world is some BTS guy. If Just go to images real quick, bro. He got the long dangly earrings. It looked like he has makeup on. Very feminine, soft features. This is what they are pushing. Not just pushing, like, like they're not even saying like, oh, this is just fashion. They're saying, oh, this is what men should strive to be. They're saying this is the most sexy man in the world. Do you understand what that means? They're saying that, oh, this is what men should strive to look like and strive to be. Look at, look, go look that up real quick and then come back to this video. Is that what you want to strive to be? Does that look masculine to you? And the only reason he's in that spot is because, number one, it's probably just a bunch of fangirls that voted him in, number one. But number two, they had no problem putting him in that spot for the simple fact that they love to push this agenda. They love to push femininity onto men. Masculinity is dying, if not already dead. And it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. We are straying further and further from how God wants us to live every single day. If you are a man, the Bible says to be strong. It says to protect and provide. The Bible says to do masculine things. You shouldn't cloak yourself in, in women's clothing. If you are a woman, it says to be feminine, to be submissive. It says to cloak yourself in female clothing, to act like a woman. We are straying further from these values every day. And that's probably why we see things like relationship problems. That's why we see guys who are going through so many uh, problems with their mental because they don't understand that their masculinity is what they should really be tapping into. Instead, you have all these other things, these other distractions that they want you to get into. All these other things. And it doesn't just stop here. There's a lot of different problems, especially with young men. Especially with young men, because as much as they're pushing this feminine stuff onto men, they're still trying to say, they, 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 as much as they're pushing that, a woman will still not date you if you do those things. A woman will still not, still not uh, 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 have that respect for you if you're just overly emotional simp who's just going through stuff and you just laying everything on her. <sighs> oh, but I love you so much. I need you. A woman will not respect you if, submit, if you submit to her, what is what I'm trying to say. Think about it. You know, it's mainly these 
You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. It's mainly females that are pushing this, oh, men can wear dresses or whatever the case may be. And sure, they can. That's fine. I really don't care. But ask any of these women if they would date a man that does those things. Ask a woman if she would date a man that paints his fingernails. Ask a woman if she would date a man that rocks a skirt. And if she says yes, then ask that woman, what do you think your dad would say if you brought that man home? What would your parents say if you married that man? Now, unless you got some fugazi, super dream catcher, you know, super left parents that live in a van that runs off pee, then I guarantee that your parents is probably not going to be too thrilled with that. Let's just be honest. I mean, as a man, imagine you have a daughter and you're supposed to give your daughter away to be taken care of by her husband. But her husband is 140 pounds soaking wet and dresses like Playboy Cardi. You probably wouldn't feel too comfortable with that, would you, my boy? But of course, they're trying to take away the family structure. They're trying to flip it. They're trying to make it so that it's obsolete. We need Jesus. That's all I got for y'all today. Love y'all. I'm out of here, man. Peace.